All right, hello, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 short tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to have multiple materials on one static mesh. And to do this, I'm actually going to use the starter content cube, as you can see, um, fully. Let's just go ahead and delete and <laughs> redrag it over. This is the starter content uh, shape cube. So if you go into the starter content shapes, shape cube, this is what you'd have now. When I was uh, first starting out in Unreal Engine, you know, I would see like, you know, these advanced tutorials and, you know, they have like a variety of, 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 of materials on one mesh. And I'd just be like, well, in Unreal Engine, how do you assign multiple materials to the exact same mesh? Because usually in exactly like this, even if I was to import this uh, plane, you know, if I was to rotate this and scale it a bit and, you know, rotate it here and then scale it, let's say, uh, um, you know, it really doesn't matter how much, but like if I had like a wall and I wanted each side to be two different colors, well, actually that's very visible. That's a normal issue, folks. Let's just ignore that for now. But uh, let's just focus on the cube, <laughs> okay? So regardless, if I wanted to have, you know, if I wanted like this face to be green, and then this face to have like a water material, and then maybe this face to have like a nice sky material, or maybe just red, blue, and purple, you know, something like that. How would I go about doing it? Because as you can see in Unreal Engine 5, when you go to the material section of a static mesh, you only have one slot by default. So how would you go about making this multiple slots? How would you go about adding elements? Because if I was to click on element, <laughs> you know, nothing's happened. You can't just click on, you know, plus element. So let's go over how you would actually make this, uh, uh, um, this uh, have a, a variety of uh, different materials. So to do that, you're going to need to go into Blender because that is what we use for our 3D modeling software. So this is a brand new spanking project. I'll even go ahead and open up a brand new one, even though I already have one, but just to you know, really showcase that. This is a brand new 3D um, Blender um, model project. And as you can see, we start off with a cube. So this is actually perfect. So actually, I think I might even go over the export settings as well in this video just because I can. So as you can see, same way in Unreal Engine 5, we only have one material starting off with. But in and in, in, um in Blender is known as material, so we can actually call this side one. So they will actually go ahead and make four materials. Let's call this one green, and then let's go ahead and add three new materials. One, two, three. Like one new. Call this side four. Let's call this to be yellow oranges. Um. Maybe a bluish, light bluish kind of vibe. Name this to side three. And then side two for this last one and make it something kind of purple pinkish. That's more purple. And side two. Okay, so far so good. However, we are in what's known as material preview mode. So we're looking at all the materials. Now we just added four new or three new materials. We have four total, but it's only showing the same one material. So how would you go ahead and assign this material to the size that you wanted to? It's actually pretty simple. To do that, you have to be in edit mode, face select mode, just so that you can select the face. So let's go ahead and click this face select mode right here. And then from this point, all you have to do is just select the face that you want. So let's say if I want the top to be purple, I then make sure I click on the material and then click on assign. And now, because I had the face selected and I hit the assign, it assigned this material to whatever face I had selected. So if I wanted to, uh, this one to be blue, select the face, hit assign. Oh, actually, that's green. Hold on. <laughs> hit assign. As you can see, now we have three different colors on one um, static mesh. Now, if even I, if I do this same thing for the yellowish, now we have four different colors on one static mesh. Well, meanwhile, in Unreal Engine, we only have one. So all we really have to do is just re-import this back to Unreal Engine. And to do that, it's quite simple. Let's make sure we're in exporting the mesh, call it QB. And then this is my default, um, call it UE4 static mesh. This is what I use for my uh, settings. Um, it's limited to selected objects, object types, mesh. Um, these are the settings in case you want to copy them. 
Uh, smoothing is set to face. That is important. Um, as well as applying the modifiers just in case. And the armature, well, this isn't an, 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 uh, this isn't like a mesh. This is just a, well, this is a static mesh, not like a character model or anything. That's not really important. Neither is the animation because there are no animations in this static mesh, obviously. But now let's go ahead and export this to downloads, call it cubing. And then if I was to go into my folder and import to game, QB. Now these are the default um, settings that I typically like to use. I don't know, in case you want to sort of screenshot and or just, you know, use them yourself. This is what I use. Import normal, make T-space, stuff like that. <laughs> That's basically all I would change if I remember correctly. Uh, click the I open advanced on everything. That way, you know, you really just you get the idea. Then I just hit import. And as you see, we have four materials imported as well as QB. Now, if I was to drag this one out, the size is obviously different. But other than that, we have four materials on one mesh. So that's how you would go ahead and go about adding multiple materials to one mesh in Unreal Engine. Uh, five. So by default, Unreal Engine 5 only has like one material to each mesh, but all you would have to do is just re-import that mesh into Unreal Engine 5 and making sure that you already assigned the materials to the faces that you wanted them on in the 3D modeling software, such as Blender or whatever else you use. I definitely recommend Blender because it's free and open source. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's how you go about and having a variety of, of materials. And that's what I actually I did for my streets because these streets are custom made. So if I was to sort of click on this and you see, um, okay, maybe not that, but I think I showed this earlier. We see these are three different materials on my streets, and that's because one is for the, the, the sidewalk, the curb, as well as the asphalt. So that's how you go about doing that. I don't know. I just, when I first started out, it took me like a while to figure that out because, you know, everyone's just sort of doing it, but no one actually, you know, I guess it's just one of those things that, you know, it's so simple. <laughs> That, you know, when you're experienced, you, you just know to do it. So you don't even really think that it needs to be explained. But, you know, some people, they're not going to know how. So that's why I went ahead and made this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. Um, if not, you know, well, I tried. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyways, wish you the best in your endeavors in Unreal Engine 5. Because, as I always say, you know, it'd be rough out here when you don't know what you're doing. That's the reason I make these kind of tutorials. With that said, I'll let you get back to your work.